Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Japan in Europa Universalis 4. We finally have uh, Diplomats Free, or we'll have Diplomats Free here. After 12,313 some days, we've integrated somebody. Ming will cede what? Lots of land to Jin. Ming will cede more land to Ning. Ming will give cores. They renounce their claims. Basically, Ming, Ming, Ming is dead. Ming dead. Ming just rivaled Jin. Fair war. You're gonna pull in Kada, which we don't care about. It would be nice to have another military tech advantage over you, but... Ooh, you actually have military tech 11, and I don't. I don't think it matters. I have enough troops. Just march there. Apparently I had four ships hanging out over here and they just instantly died. Is that what just happened? That's lovely. And... Oh, right, right, because of the integrated fleets. Gotcha. Force limit. We're okay. I think we disband the mercs. We're one over the force limit. We disband while we're at sea. Doesn't look like we can. So we've integrated Bruni. Let's, uh, Brunei. Let's get rid of the fort. Because forts are dumb. We're not paying for any forts. That's good. Now, all this land down here is probably not part of a state by default. We have 22 states. We can have up to 25. We've got California. Bruni with 62 development and Kutai. Those obviously both need to become estates. Area map mode is this one. So Bruni and Kutai, you are both states. And that puts us at 24 out of 25. Other than that, South Australia and Eastern Australia will become a colonial nation soon. And we end up at pretty crap autonomy, honestly. 60%, that's normal for integration. Now that they're part of the states, it's going to mess up these numbers. But everyone seems to be pretty happy with, with the, the land that they have. We've landed here with not quite enough cannons to make a, a difference. Diplotech cost, sounds good. Let's pull the other cannon and no siege value over there. We'll suffer the attrition, it is what it is. We'll get the war goal. Let's go blockade that port. All I care about is the one province, that's it. I want nothing else. Spend admin points, yes, we do. Take the merchant. Take a look at trade. Right now we're steering here and that is fine. There's no real known node. We could transfer from up here, I guess. It'll transfer into... Why does it show as undiscovered? No province in this trade node has been discovered, but it's clearly California. And I clearly can reach it. That's weird. Lose ducats for prestige. Sure. Okay. We'll take our time, suffer some attrition. It's fine, is what it is. And now the estates do demand territory. Which is actually what I expected. So, we'll find some provinces that have high development, high military development, preferably. Which was eight. Looking for provinces with lots of high military development. It's an eight there. 60% autonomy, mostly military. This goes to the nobility, appeasing them entirely. And now everyone's happy. Clergy don't expect to control that much territory. Were there any... Estuaries down here. Yes, there are. This goes to the merchant guilds.
Looks like the disaster is not really going to be an issue. We could always revoke some land from the clergy. Right now they are... Yeah, uh, 42%. Let's let them come up a little bit more, maybe. Unless... Yeah, we could start to revoke their land and they would be okay with it. Like up here. They'd still be above 40%, so no rebellion. That's good. Brings the autonomy down to 0%. Hey, we have free diplomats. Wow, I don't even know what to do with them. Uh, fabricate claim. Right, and we were going to continue fabricating claims up here, too. You know what would be great? Having four or five diplomats. That would be splendid. I have no idea where his army is. So I think we'll pull the cav off. And we'll pull some more of these troops off. Our supply is only 23 here, actually. Never mind. We're going to suffer attrition no matter what we do. So... Just keep them together. Please, sir, I'd like the war goal. Disbanding Merc's while at war seems like a bad idea, so I don't think we'll do that. Meanwhile, we're about to finish a colony over here. Which is going to give us lots of exploration range. So we do want to have an explorer handy if we if we can. Looks like we don't have one. We might have to buy another one. Do, 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 do. The only war score you have is from occupying the war goal. And that instantaneous stack wipe of my inherited navy. We could build stuff, or we could pay off loans. State maintenance is expensive. Come on! Disease outbreak. Siege has been going on for over a year! It's just a single fort! Crying out loud. Thank you. Wangsheng will cede territory. Not particularly interested. We'll blockade his capital fort, which is going to be in this sea, sea zone. Um, Diplo points for inflation? Sure, I'll take those. We'll advance a little bit. That fort is causing issues. And I think we just wait now until he's willing to give us the province that I want. Yeah, that, that, that looks to be about where the province is. Sure. So we have a province down here. Yay! Uh, do we just continue to colonize adjacent to it? I think so. This is going to form a colonial nation. That's fine. Let's get a colonial Japan. Reverse colonization. It's not really reverse, is it? You know what, Korchin? I don't even care if, if it takes forever to integrate you. I'm just, I'm not going to pay for this advisor anymore. I'm tired of being broke. I'm tired of having no money. No funds. It gives us four. Let's get our fifth one started. Oh, 
So how's our force limit look? We've gained some naval force limit. Let's find the ones that are protecting in Nippon. And we'll build to attach to them if we had the money for it, which we don't. Hey, colonial range. That's kind of cool. Might serve us well. We'll see. He's not even going to try to cross the strait. He's just going to let me siege him down. Ming just went bankrupt. Good. He deserves it. He's a jerk. Let's pull back a diplomat from... Nowhere until we get both to 20. I just... Don't really want to. There's still plenty of loot to be had. This is a level two fort. We only need six troops. Pull a couple more infantry off to get some more looting done. We ended up with quite a bit of land that's the wrong religion. Speaking of that, maybe we should talk to Oirat and Korchin and force their religion. Korchin. Oi, rat. It's gonna be a while... Wow. It's gonna be a while until I can integrate you anyway, so... Go ahead and be unruly. I don't really care. And it's gonna be a while until you're integrated as well, so go ahead. We're not integrating at any rate right now anyway, so whatever. Just become my religion. Have fun. Convert. Enjoy the rebellions. Even Bruni's getting involved. What? Bengal. I thought that. I thought that was Brunei. I was like, "Excuse me, Brunei is attacking you? Oh, how could that be? Oh, that doesn't make any sense." Um, unfortunately, though, this second claim that I wanted up here is going to cost more. So, shoot. Shouldn't have, shouldn't have sent you away. But you... Again, we do the same thing we did before, Banton. There should be a core there, Sunda. That's all I want, and your money, and your war reps. Okay, everyone comes down and back home, except that all you guys can go to this province. We'll immediately destroy the fort because our, our AI that we're going to release help them out a little bit. We're going to... No, I, I, I don't think we can help them out. So they are the wrong religion. We could just immediately enforce the religion. I don't care if you're loyal to me or not. You are going to be my religion. You will convert to the right religion. <laughs> Eventually you'll be integratable. That would be Turbal. I think establishing a 10 colony, getting the merchant is more important than getting another colonial nation. Okay, uh, we have our claim here. I think we get this war started now as well. I 
Actually, we don't even need to use the boats. Where are your forts? You've got them down here and your capital's over here. Let's bring the boats over there. Get this war started right now. We'll take our maneuver guide across the strait. The other guy can kind of head to here. Would be nice to blockade his this thing though. Letting him squish that is stupid. War without bloodshed, that's the way to go. They're both all already occupied. We don't want him to get his war goal back. He's only on tech 10, so he's actually easier than the previous guy was. Seventeen war score already is not bad at all. I bet we take one fort and he'll concede. Diplotech 10, military tech 10, I think so. I don't think we're in danger of any kind of unbalanced research, which is good. Nice and balanced right now. We just lost a bunch of sailors. Oh no! Whatever shall we do? That's a bonus event for being at zero corruption. We've just taken his fort. And I want Banton. All your money and war reps. So, we go blockade your capital. We continue to ignore pretty much everything. If you want to fight me, we can fight, sure. Okay. That'll probably do it for the war then. Not quite. Unless you move only one province away, in which case I get to stack wipe you. In which case now you're definitely done. Sounds good. And again, we'll immediately piss these guys off and just demand that they be our religion. Who cares? And now we can focus on Korea or... Wow, look at that. It's trying to march us all the way up there. It's not really what I had in mind. Let's try to use the Navy. Alright, cool. I'm going to take a break here. I'll see you again in the next episode. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.